2019.28.3.1. All right, we're on the DC area beltway. We're in Northern Virginia, heading over to Maryland. Let's see how autopilot does in this version. There's someone right there. Hopefully we're not gonna turn into him. This is like rush morning rush hour beltway traffic. We can see the sunrise across the bridge up here. American Legion Bridge, Virginia into Maryland. We're gonna have to make a few lane changes up here. Definitely will. That looks like a Model 3 up in front of us. All right, now here we go. Let's see how we handle all this traffic. Usually the, the autopilot will yield to a car like that orange Subaru, but it, it seemed like it, it, it was a nice smooth transition, didn't have to worry about it. Let's see what we have here in terms of our sunrise. Can we see the sunrise? There's a car about to approach. There's the sunrise. Cool. All right, we had a little bit of a sunrise there. There's a non-electric pickup truck. I think the Tesla pickup trucks can be unveiled pretty soon. And everybody's excited about that. I'm actually heading over to Supercharge and then I'm gonna go to the service center to get some work done on my car in Rockville. So I'm going to Gaithersburg Supercharger, then Rockville. Oh, we're moving over because that lane, see how the acceleration lane opens up? It still moves over in these situations. There's an upcoming lane change, you see that? Right there. It's gonna make a left turn, left lane, there's a giant dump truck there now. I'm only going 55, I'm gonna need to bump my speed up. That's not, it's a fuel truck. Okay, good. Better than a dump truck. Dump trucks have too much gravel in them. Okay, there we go. They picked a good time to, to do it. Maybe it's watching the cars. I think I have to tug, I guess, to get a little bit to go. Now I'm gonna pump the speed up another five miles an hour. At speed, changing lanes. I think we could stay in this lane. We might have to go for one more. The traffic isn't that bad, but it's doing a good job changing lanes. Peaceful morning. Here's where we go, either 495 or 270, we're heading 270. Yeah, we don't have to change lanes here.
Actually, it's been a while. I think we, we did used to do this one on a regular basis when I camp here in the mornings. Right after Gaithersburg Supercharger opened like a year or so ago. So that's why this seems familiar. There's all the bad traffic in, on the other side of the road. At least we're not going that way, right? Mazda Miata on trailer. Yeah, one thing, you know, I've been towing a little bit recently. I did a 1400 mile towing video with a really light trailer and I think I killed my rear tires. That's one of the reasons why we're going into Tesla right today, actually. You may see this in my in my uh, other videos. Search it up into Tesla Rockville because there's something wrong with the rear suspension. I I got I had some camber adjustable camber bars installed at the Electrified Garage in New Hampshire. It seemed to fix the severe negative camber issue that you couldn't adjust. But then it looks like something else is going on now. I don't know if it's related to that. Maybe related to the ride height. Who knows? I have no idea right now. We're gonna find out because when I'm towing, it just chews up the insides of the rear tires or when I'm not towing, I don't know. I, I'm sure that's something to do with me towing, but I only have 6,000 miles out of these tires and they are gone after 6,000 miles. Hmm, lane changing, I wonder why we're doing that. I didn't have to touch the wheel. Eventually we're gonna get over to the right Well, anyway, I am planning to do some long distance towing in the near future. So I've got to get this stuff worked out with the rear tires. And I'm not going to be towing with these 22 inch rims. I've got my old set of 20s and that's what I'll be towing with. But for now, I've got to get the situation figured out. It's telling me it's going to turn to the right now. There it goes automatically without any input from me. Navigator on autopilot.
right again. That car behind me is trying to sneak over. Let's see if. All right, it's it's asking me for turn input to make the lane change, but it also sees that someone's there. There's the car. I'll give it the input so we can go in at once. See, sometimes it asks for a little tugging on the wheel. Other times it doesn't. See how it navigates all this. Alright, getting over, asking for input, giving it input. Oh, look at that. This has been challenging, this off ramp up here. I don't I'm guessing hopefully they've painted the lines. I know there's a problem before with this off ramp and curvy bridges and not having lines painted. Let's see what we do here. Actually, I'm gonna drop it down to 55 because I just am a little bit concerned. It says exit 45. Now, where's it gonna put me here? Oh, it, like it can't figure it out. Someone's trying to get on my right. Okay, there, figured it out. And we do have lines in the road, that's good. Right lane ends half mile. See, now the lines kind of fade here, but it's it's locked on. We're still locked on. That's good. And we have to get off to the right up here. Let's see if it makes this change. Okay, it's asking for input. It'll, it waits till the solid line goes away. That does it perfect. Whoa. Whoa, it hesitated, but it, it completed the turn. All right. All right, what'd you think of that? Be sure to comment, give me some comments, like, share, subscribe, hit the thumbs up and the bell for notifications, and we'll see you in the next video. never seen it empty here before.